Hello dear students I am your educator Burhanuddin and it's time to cram This is the series of acid base and salt chapter 2 class 10 and this is the 15th video lecture of this series so let's start the video So in today's video lecture we are going to discuss section 2.3 that is how strong are acid and base solution so let's do a quick summary that what i had covered in my previous video lecture i had completed introduction then chemical properties of acid and bases then rapid revision of chemical properties of acid and bases then section 2.2 what do all acids and all bases have in common so if you want to watch this videos then click the i button so let's see how strong are acid and base solutions we know how acid base indicator can be used to distinguish between acid and bases we have also learnt in previous section about dilution and decrease in concentration of h plus or oh minus ion in the solution so the questions arise in our mind is can we quantitatively find the amount of this ion present in the solution or can we judge how strong our given acid or base is to get this answer watch the full video so answer is yes we can do this by making use of universal indicator which is mixture of several indicators so what is universal indicator the universal indicator shows different color at different concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution it means that when we put this indicator in the solution then it will shows different colors and from the different color we will be able to identify the concentration of hydrogen in a given solution so let understand more about universal indicator a scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution ph scale has been developed the p in the ph stand for potens in german which means that power the number in ph scale represent ph value of the solution which indicate acidic or a basic nature of the solution so as you can see on the image that the different color are given with the different numbers and these numbers are the ph value which will be shown if we put this ph paper in the solution and with the help of it we will be able to identify that the compound is acidic or a basic in nature so the ph also can be written as ph is equal to minus logarithm of h plus or negative logarithm of h plus and it was given by spl sorensen now on the ph scale we can measure ph from 0 that is very acidic to 14 that is very alkaline or very basic so as you can see here ph is 1 so it is strong acid that is very acidic and if the ph is 14 that is strong alkali it means that very basic ph should be thought of simply as a number which indicate the acidic or a basic nature of the solution the ph is used simply for indicating the compound is acidic or a basic in the nature higher the hydronium ion concentration lower is the ph value it is simple that if the hydrogen ion will be more it means that it will be more acidic and if it will be more acidic so it has low value of ph so as you can see here the compound which is strong acid has ph of 1 and as the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases the ph value increases gradually the ph of neutral solution is 7 as you can see here pure water has ph of 7 which indicate that it is neutral so you have to remember that ph of neutral solution is 7 the value less than 7 on the ph scale represent acidic solution as you can see here on the ph scale value on the left side will indicate the acidic nature and as the ph value increases from 7 to 14 it represent the increase in oh minus concentration in the solution that is increase in strength of alkali as we move to right side then the concentration of oh minus will increase and concentration of h plus will decrease so the solution will become more alkali if we go from 7 to 14 generally paper impregnated with the universal indicator is used for measuring ph one such paper is shown in the given figure as you can see here neutral solution has ph of 7 if we go to the left side it will show more acidic nature and if we go to the right side it will show more basic nature as if you go to the left side the concentration of 
H plus increases and as we go to the right side, concentration of OH minus will increase and H plus will decrease. Now this is the activity 2.11 given in your NCERT textbook. Test the pH value of the solution given in the table 2.2. In table 2.2 we are given 10th compound and we have to test the pH value of that compound and we have to record our observations. So here for this 10th compound we have to find the color of pH paper. It means that when we put pH paper in the given compound which color the pH paper will show. As you can see here pH paper has different colors and it will vary according to the compound and here we have to write approximate value of pH and here we have to write nature of substance. It is obvious that when we will come to know about the value of pH then we will able to identify the nature of that substance. So let's first talk about saliva before meal. Saliva is present in our mouth and we have to take reading for that saliva before eating the meal. Before meal the color of the saliva will be green and its approximate value will be 7.4 and if the value is more than 7 as I told you before then its nature will be basic. So if we talk about saliva after the meal so it will depend on the food which we had taken because the food has different pH. So the saliva of the food will vary according to the food which we had taken. Now if we talk about lemon juice then the color which pH paper will show is pink and its approximate pH value will be 2.5 and if its pH value is less than 7 so the nature will be acidic and if we talk about colorless aerated drinks so the color of pH paper will be yellow or green and its approximate pH value will be 5 to 6 and if it is less than 7 then again it is acidic and if we talk about carrot juice so it will also show you yellow or green color and its pH is also approximately 5 to 6 so its nature will be also acidic and if we talk about coffee then the pH paper will show yellow color and its pH will be approximate 5 so and its nature will be acidic. If we talk about tomato juice then the pH paper will show orange color and its pH value is approximately 4.1. So its nature will be acidic. If we talk about tap water then the color of the pH paper will be green and its approximate value will lie between 6.5 to 8.5. In most cases it is 7. So we can consider it as a neutral. If we talk about 1 molar NaOH then the color of the pH paper will be purple and its approximate value will be 14 and its nature will be basic and if its pH will be 14 then it will be the strong base. If we talk about 1 molar SCL then the color which pH paper will show is red and its approximate pH value will be 0 or 1 and its nature will be acidic and it will be a strong base and it will be the strong acid. So take a snapshot of this. Now let's perform an activity to understand the strength of an acids and base. Step 1. Take two beakers and name them A and B respectively. Take SCL and CH3COOH that is hydrochloric acid and acetic acid. Step 3. Now add SCL in beaker A and step 4. Now add CH3COOH in beaker B that is acetic acid in beaker B and hydrochloric acid in beaker A. Now step 5. Put two nails into a cork and put the cork in both the beaker. Now step 6. Connect the both terminals of the nails with the 6 volt DC supply and switch on the supply. What did you observe? We observed that the bulb glows brightly in beaker with the dilute SCL and bulb glow low or dim in a solution of CH3COOH as you can see here. The bulb in hydrochloric acid is grown more than the bulb in acetic acid. So why this happened? First thing which we know that the electric current flows due to the ions. So it means that dilute SCL has more ions and it carries high electric current hence it is strong acid and dilute CH3COOH has less ions and it carries low electric current hence it is called weak acid. So as we discussed previous also that electric current flows due to the ions and as dilute SCL has more ions so it will allow more electric current to flow and hence it will be known as strong acid. And if we talk about CH3COOH then 
it has less ions and it will allow low electric current to flow hence it is weak acid so the strength of acid and base depends on the h plus ions and oh minus ions produced respectively and the acid that gives rise to the more h plus ions are said to be strong acid and the acid that gives less h plus ions are said to be the weak acid this thing you have to remember the topic which will be covered in next video lecture is 2.3.1 importance of ph in everyday life notes are uploaded on the bloggers page of time to cram so visit the bloggers page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box so check the description box get the link and download the notes and if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates and yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you